All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for SmackDown review for April 7, 2023. SmackDown pretty much fucking sucked outside of Bloodline stuff. You had, uh, what was it, uh, Sami Zayn versus uh, Jey Uso in the main event. That was okay. Not really much, like, with the match, but the part, the angle they shot after. So they're teasing uh, Jey Uso leaving the Bloodline. Didn't they do this? Like before he joined the bloodline during 2020, the COVID years. I don't know. Uh, what else happened? Um, Triple H was there talking about like the WrestleMania, their numbers and shit. Oh, we got a billion views and all this shit almost. And then he said the draft. Nobody gives a fuck about the draft, man. Both rest, wrestlers appear on both shows, so there's really no point in the draft. And what else was there? Oh, yeah, and uh, on commentary, Wade Barry, he brought up uh, the fact that the reason that Brock Lesnar attacked Cody Rhodes on uh, Raw this past week is because his match was first on uh, WrestleMania on Sunday night, too. That doesn't make any fucking sense, because why would he attack Cody Rhodes just because of that reason? doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't know why they can't apply the same stuff they do to the bloodline story to, like, other stories so they get better storylines, but... Fucking shit. All right, let's get to it. Uh, first up, we got a six man tag Imperium versus the Barling Brutes. Ridge clothesline Ludwig, Kaiser. Ridge hit an Alabama slam on Kaiser for a two count. And then Gunther hit a power bomb on Ridge. Butch broke up the pin. Uh, Gunther locks in a Boston Crab. Ridge tags in, uh, tags Sheamus. Sheamus hits a clothesline on Gunther. Then he hit a running power slam. Sheamus hit the 10 beats of the Browdrin. He usually does about 20, but I don't know. This is a regular one, so I guess he gave him 10. Uh, and then he landed the white noise on Gunther for a two count. Then he need uh, Sheamus need Vinci in the face. Then he hit a bro kick for the win. Okay match, I guess. I guess Sheamus and Gunther are going to keep feuding, I guess. They beat them, so it's going to fucking keep winning all these tag matches. Uh, we got another uh, segment in the back with Paul Heyman and Solo Sokoa. Paul says, uh, or Caleb Braxton asked him about why Brock Lesnar attacked Cody. He says, I talk about something relevant. He says the bloodline he- headline both may, uh, WrestleMania nights one and two. And then Jay shows up. He says, I've been seeing Jimmy Oos. And then uh, Paul says, Roman told him to stay home. And then uh, he tell Paul tells Jay, you will solve the Sami Zayn problem. Jay leaves. And then he says, the solo, either he solved the Sami Zayn problem or you solved the Sami Zayn problem. Just building more, advancing the story for the main event. All right, next up, we got Ricochet versus Ivar. Uh, okay, so uh, Ivar hit a spin kick for a two count. Ricochet hit Hurricane Rana, and then he hit the shooting star press for the win. Didn't really care about this match. So for the Viking Raiders, this heel run's not working. They maybe switch it up and go babyface, or I don't fucking know, get a better storyline because it's just not working. All right, no, uh, another segment in the back. This time it's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. KO says you got a uh, big match with uh, Jey Uso tonight. Sami says something feels off. Says he has to talk to Jay. And then uh, KO says the bloodline is crumbling. What do you got to talk to Jay for? He's got to be more volatile. And then Sami says, I have to. He says he has to speak to him or whatever. Um, next up, we got uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan versus Natalia and Shotzi. Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan win. Didn't really care about that match either. All right, next up, uh, we got a segment in the back with Xavier Woods and Mad Cat Moss. They're playing ba- uh, video games, the, the new WWE 2K23 game. So they're playing, and then uh, L.A. Knight shows up. He's like, oh, you had Logan Paul show up at WrestleMania, Snoop Dogg, Bad Bunny, all these guys, and I wasn't there. 
So he started bitching about that. And then Xavier Woods gets in his face. He, he pretty much challenges LA Knight to a match next week. And then LA Knight grabs the, the PlayStation controller, Xbox, and he fucking smash it on the ground. I don't know why LA Knight's feuding with the New Day. It's making no fucking sense. It should be a, a, a bigger storyline or a bigger feud. This shit ain't going to go nowhere. Probably going to end up losing anyways. All right, next up, the game, Triple H. Uh, he comes out. He pretty much recapped WrestleMania, social media numbers and shit. Like, oh, we run a billion views. He talks about the future, and then he says in a few weeks, it's time for the WWE draft. The WWE draft pretty much is irrelevant. Both wrestlers appear on both shows. It makes so much sense. All right, next up, we got the Judgment Day. They come out. Rhea Ripley says she destroyed Charlotte Flair. Finn Balor says he's got 14 stitches, and he's still standing. And then Dominic gets on the mic. The fans, he tried like two or three times. The fans wouldn't let him speak. They fucking drowned him out with booze. So he tried to wait them out. But he, they kept booing him, and he says, and he finally gets on the mic. He says, Ray, you and your family, you can go to hell. And then Damien Priest grabs a mic. He says, I forgive Bad Bunny for making me do what I did to you. And then uh, Ray, Mysterio, and Santos, and LWO come out. And they go to commercials. And now it's uh, Ray, Ray and Santos versus Dominic, Mysterio, and Damien Priest in a tag match. Everybody else is on the outside. Dom hit a suplex on Ray. Santos hit a crossbody on Dom. And then Ray and Santos hit suicide dives on each side of the ring on Dominic and Damien Priest. And then Ray hit a springboard moonsault on Dominic. Ray hit a 619 on Dom. And then Damien Priest hit like a, I don't know what the hell the move's called, but he hit like a power slam or like a regular slam on Santos for the win. And that was pretty much it for that. It was an okay match, I guess. And then next up, we got the main event with Sami Zayn and Jey Uso. Um, oh, no, first a segment in the back with Sami and Jey before their, before their match. Sami says, well, I told you we'd take the tag titles. He's like, I'll beat you till you get it through your head. He says, Solo is coming for you, and Roman, Roman Reigns is mad at you. We're building up more for the storyline. He says there are... And then, uh, so there's a, while they're talking, there's like a noise in the background. Something fell over. And then Sammy, he quickly sprints to wherever the noise came from. And then you see Solo is like attacking KO. He had his leg trapped like underneath the, like a equipment case or WWE in those, one of those silver and black cases that you can, that has wheels, some shit. And then, so there's like Adam Pierce guys and a bunch of referees and security breaking it up. And then uh, Sammy says KO is in the medical room before it goes out to his match. All right, so we got the main event, Jey Uso versus Sami Zayn. Sammy clotheslines Jay. Solo comes out. And then Sammy hits a exploder suplex from the top rope on Jay. Jay hit a super kick after Sammy jumped off the top rope. That shit looked brutal. And then Sammy hit another exploder suplex. This time he was down below in the ring. And then Sammy hit a blue thunder bomb for a near fall. Solo hit a Simone spike on Sammy. Well, uh, while the ref was turned around, and then uh, Jay pinned Sammy. After the match, Solo attacks uh, Sammy. And uh, Solo, Sokoa is about to do the Umaga's move, the Samoan spike with his thumb when he hits, hits the guy across the fucking throat. He's about to do it, and Jay attempts to stop it. And then the crowd starts cheering for Jay. And then Jay super kicks Sammy. So, they, so they're pretty much just teasing that Jay's going to uh, leave the bloodline now. I guess the story they're going back to. And then, so yeah, that was it for that. And then, so after he super kicks Sammy, and then Matt Riddle comes out. So Matt Riddle is finally back. If you all remember, uh, I don't know when, it's been a while since he's, he's seen Matt Riddle. He was the one, he got injured in storyline by uh, Solo Sokoa, so he's coming for payback. So I guess he can take Solo out or whatever. Of the uh, the storyline or some shit. 
So he's pissed off about the injury. So yeah, that was it for SmackDown. Pretty much average show outside the bloodline. Not much else. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it. See ya.